Let's know how cos minus x becomes cos x. We will make a Cartesian coordinate system. Here x axis or the positive x axis is the initial side. And we have drawn a line from O to B is called the terminal side. Now, when we take this angle equal to x degrees or x radian, that depends upon you. We will get a triangle OAB right angled at A and theta is equal to X. Now the terminal side is towards the anti-clock direction from x axis so we get positive value of theta or positive of the measure of angle so this is anti-clockwise direction now our cos x would be this is the base and this is the hypotenuse. So base upon hypotenuse is OA upon OB. The terminal side OB is the length of hypotenuse or the length of the terminal side is every time positive. So we take this OB every time positive. What changes is the sign of bases and perpendicular because of uh, the quadrants we are talking about. So in first quadrant, the values on y is positive, the values on x is positive, so bases and the perpendiculars if drawn are always positive in the first quadrant and when we talk about OB, OB is every time positive. So here OA is in the first quadrant the value of X which is positive and OB is every time positive so we'll get a positive value. Now Keep in mind that we are talking about the first quadrant system. When we go to the second quadrant or the third quadrant, we'll get some other value. Now, let's talk about cos minus x. When we talk about cos minus x, we should keep in mind that we are going in the clockwise direction. And in going clockwise direction, we get negative measure of angle which is minus x. The measure of angle is negative. So this is how what we got. Here we will find this vertex as b dash and cos minus x or cos theta or cos x is every time equal to base upon hypotenuse for triangle OA B dash base is OA this is the base the base remains the same and hypotenuse is OB dash 
Now, the value of OB will be positive and it will never change. So we will get OA upon OB without any change in the uh, sign of OB. And uh, we got OA exactly the same in the case of X. So there is no change. This is the result what we found with the cos x and this is the result what we found with cos minus x. So cos minus x is equal to cos x. Thank you.